So mainly we are going to learn about um, HBase, how to use um, HBase, where to use HBase, HBase architecture, and uh, multiple ways of loading data into HBase. So problem in real world. Um, the problem uh, in real world, like uh, one of the few things that you saw in uh, Hive or you can see other um, other models, like uh, if the data grows large and you want to access the data in real time, uh, Hive and uh, other systems um, does not uh, does not load quickly. So, like in Twitter uh, and uh, LinkedIn, and definitely a Twitter, a lot of data, and uh, especially when you are um, data size goes to millions and billions uh, you cannot access your data in real time using technologies like uh, Hive and um, Impala, or Impala might work Hive or Peak uh, or MapReduce um, so HBase is de developed on top of SDFS uh, but its architecture is totally different but you have to keep in mind that it uses SDFS uh, for storage and um, and it's it's used to for two purposes most of the time in your industry when we, when you want your data to be real time like real time means when you query your data you should be able to read your data within seconds and when you want to update the data or or make some updates uh, you should be able to do that within seconds so but for very 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 large data um, so the, in those cases um, HBase is used and um, at the end of this uh, session we'll try to design a database for uh, something like Facebook or uh, LinkedIn, a uh, pretty common use case. So we'll see how we can do that and how things will work. Uh, so in most of these cases that we saw, what is common? Use data, fast random access, um, data is little structured uh, and uh, and um, like even in Hive, we saw the data was structured, uh, semi-structured at least. Um, but the schema in HBase is variable. In Hive, the schema was static. Uh, once your schema is defined, it doesn't change too quickly. But one of the flexibility in HBase is that schema you can add columns pretty quickly. Um, so in HBase, uh, the, one of the common commonly you'll hear it supports uh, million, billions of rows and millions of columns. Um, so we'll see how it supports billions of rows and millions of columns. And um, and also a need of compression. Since your data size is growing pretty large, uh, one other use case is uh, compression and you need compression to save some space uh, and HBase supports that. And the other important thing is distribution. So one, how did we do distribution in Hive? basically by using partitioning, right? That's sharding. Sharding means partitioning your data and uh, we saw that how we did that in Hive. So that partitioning uh, in Hive was manual. We had to create partition based on certain columns and uh, as the data grew, we, we do it insert over write and uh, using that column, it was creating separate folders for separate month or, or whatever is your partitioning column. So it's basically partitioning your data across that. But um, um, as your data grows, you want uh, automatic partitioning of your data. You don't want to each time create a new partition um, based on a certain columns. So that that's also handled in HBase. Your data is, uh, as the data sort of grows, uh, it's automatically handled by HBase. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to decide a partition column or anything like that it's automatically handled in backend by HBase. So that makes it pretty useful. Um, so we'll see other use cases like this. So distributed database, sorted data, uh, we'll see what is this. We'll see a use case at the end. But this is a high level um, um, classification on 
on different kind of NoSQL database and HBase is one of the NoSQL database. So, so um, the common examples are uh, like basically you can di divide these NoSQL databases in four groups. One is key value store, another is big table, and other is document database and graph database. So in uh, key value store, everything is stored in terms of key values. Um, and big table, uh, or you can say big table clones is uh, in, in implementation of uh, big table paper. Uh, so basically Google published this big table paper and HBase is one of the implementation of uh, Google's big table paper. The other implementation is Cassandra or uh, others are hypertable. So if Cassandra and HBase will be uh, pretty much very similar. Uh, I don't know much on hypertables, so but they, it, they should be pretty much uh, uh, implementation of big table. So if you read, if you want to see what is big table paper, you can just uh, look it online and you should be able to find it. Google, it's published by Google Research. Um, so these these are basically clones or implementation, open source implementation of something that Google published in its research and they have been using it for indexing web. And you can imagine uh, uh, to index all the web uh, was a really big challenge for Google, so that's a lot of data. So definitely edge based. Uh, which is implemented in a big table can handle a lot of data pretty easily. The other is a document uh, database. So in this document oriented database everything is a document and your storage model is basically document. You store your data um, into document and set of documents and you can basically search uh, or find words or other other activities you do in terms of document structure. Um, and PouchDB, MongoDB, and this, all these data store are based on this document storage model. And the third higher level structure is graph database. Um, and graph database is used mostly in situations like Facebook or LinkedIn, where you can you want to find um, the connection. And every, in the graph database, everything becomes age and node. So you can imagine a huge graph where everything is connected to everything. Like in Facebook, you have friends, and your friend is again connected to friend, and then again those friends are connected to friends. So basically, you can represent that whole model in terms of graph, and um, this all all this data um, in graph database are stored in that model. And you can see how um, scalability and speed uh, is high for this big table, and is less for uh, graph database. But for uh, navigation and complex queries, it's most efficient to do uh, process using graph database and least efficient to process using key value store and big table comes after that. So if you want to go navigate a path like your friends and friends and friends and friends, it's fastest in graph database but slowest in key value store. That's what it wants to say through this, through this uh, slide. Um, now we are officially on HBase. So HBase is uh, sparse sorted map. We'll see what is sorted map. Um, it's distributed. Um, it's consistent. We'll see all of this. So distributed means um, it's distributed across different computers, um, and that's why it's load balanced. And it's consistent means once you modify the data, it's consistently modified. The data is consistently modified. It's not like it it leads you into an intermediate state. And it's multidimensional, so we'll see what is multidimensional. We'll also see what's sorted map, and we'll also see sparse um, in the next few slides. This is a history of HBase. Um, so it was released. Uh, Big Table paper was released in 2006, um, and um, so Hadoop Country was started in 2007, and then 2008 and 10, and then in finally in 2011, 0.92 version of Hadoop was, uh, sorry, HBase was released. Uh, another good, um, so this, I don't know, go now.
So data model. This this is the slide that I want to show you first before anything. So can you all see this uh, data model slide? So there is a concept called uh, column family in uh, HBase and uh, and row key. So look at this site uh, pretty high at high level. Excuse me. So you can see here name address. Name and address can be called personal data, right? And birth date and gender can be called demographic. So when you create a table in HBase, um, you create column family and under that column family you have list of columns. So it's a hierarchical and that's why it's multi-dimensional database. We'll see, we'll go back to all the slides again but uh, I was want, I personally like a lot of demos so that's why I'm going with this slide and then I'll do demo and then we'll come back to go theoretically. So will that work? But for that to work, you all need to understand four words here from this slide. Only then I can go to demo. So one is row key, one is column family, and then column. and timestamp. So row key is your primary key. So uh, all the data, all the databases has uh, primary key, right? So and there is going to be only one entry per primary key in any uh, any database. So it's similar in HBase as well. So these are the tech words that you have to understand in HBase. So any doubts on row key? Any doubts, guys? Any questions? Satish, Chandra, Manas, others as well? Santos? Bharat? Okay. So can primary composite, uh, can be composite? Yes, it can be composite. So row key is primary key. Now there is one level hierarchy. It groups multiple columns. So you have a column family and the, all the columns that you know in RDBMS RDBMS. So Anil says, but primary key refers to a table, whereas uh, HBase is a key value pair. How do they match? So we'll come back to that question, um, Anil. But just keep, for now, just keep in mind because I want I'll just show you demos and then it will become more clear that row key is a primary key and it's like a unique key. It's like a key. So if you are thinking in terms of key value pair, it's key and your value is your column, is your uh, full row. So it's like a hierarchy. So column family is a top hierarchy and until, un, under column family you can have multiple columns. So here you can see personal, under personal data there is three columns, name, address, and under um, demography, there is birth date and gender. So timestamp at the end is the time. Uh, is a time value 
when the data was inserted or modified. So yes, um, same key can be used to associate different column groups. So row, uh, row key is like a unique key to access a whole row of your data. It's like a key for the full row. It's like a primary key. You can say it's like a primary key as well. There's always going to be one unique row key for one entry. Then column family, column you already know it, column, but multiple columns are grouped under one column family. So that's that's the only thing new thing here in this uh, in this uh, edge base, and then there is timestamp. So timestamp is the time value when the data is inserted, and it's automatically is this value value is automatically maintained by edge base. So same key can be used to associate different column groups, right? Column columns in a column group can overlap. Columns in column group can overlap, right? In one column family, you'll have one column, but uh, now the com column is identified by two things: column family, and then name of column. It's like a parent-child relationship. So let's say under uh, under Gupta, like let's say Gupta is the title. Uh, um, there is uh, three Gupta um, in our class. Um, let's assume Manas is also, uh, let's say X. Let's not take somebody's name. Y and Z. So this 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 you can say as a column family. So it's like title. So if you want to identify some specific name, then you have to go pull the column family and then the name of the column, and then it will be a value. So it's like a hierarchical uh, um, order. So column family equals Gupta, uh, and then um, column equals uh, X, then value is equal to um, um, something. So value equals, um, like you can say delta. If it's column family is, again, uh, Sharma. Now the name of the column can be X or something y, uh, something Z or R. It doesn't matter. But uh, until it fall, falls into a separate column family, it doesn't matter. It's a separate column. So it uses both the names. So it could be comma. So we'll see um, all of these through demo, but just keep in mind that call, a row key is a primary key or unique key to identify the full row. But now you have one more hierarchy called column family, and everything inside that column, um, everything inside that column family is again a column, and then inside that column you'll have the values.